Hey y'all, welcome back to the Pink Envelope. Our first official summer theme box is in the house. White Home Woods Summer 2023 is here. Y'all, I think there were seven, I, I tr I'm trying to remember from counting back when we were customizing these, box options. Seven box options. That is so wild. And so I <laughs> feel like I remember what I selected, but I also was one of the people, and I think there's a few of you who do this, like this is my first pick, I guess, but pretty much I'll take any of the following and there's like three or four that you love and you're like, just surprise me and send me one. So many good options. So, so, so many good options. So if you were new around here, White Home Woods is a quarterly home decor subscription box that we love. It is one of our tried and trues that continually sends beautiful things season after season. White Home Woods is not considered a seasonal box in that they're gonna send you thematic items. They definitely send more neutral elements that build upon each quarter to make your home beautiful. And I'm gonna show you that at the end of this video, how I'm gonna pull spring and winter and past boxes and show you how they're not standalone. They build on each other beautifully. So this box is quarterly, meaning it pops up four times a year. So this is our second one for the year. It is $149.99 and there's free US shipping. I have a little bit of a change in my coupon code. Pink 10 gives you 10% off their online shop, which is brand new. And if you are a new subscriber, you can get 10% off your first box, which is really, really cool. So Pink 10 gives you 10% off your first box in a subscription and on your online shopping. I do have the URL down below so you can click around and play on their brand new website. It's gorgeous too. They're still making tweaks to it. So if you see anything crazy, you can reach out and let them know. Customer service there is amazing, but the website is so awesome. I'm going to itemize my items in this box below, but I do want to show you all of the box options after we open this one, just so you can kind of get an idea of what you're working with. So when you are a subscriber, you get to customize your box first. Like, Get in there, subscribe now, and you will get to go through and customize right out the gate and get your box shipped over. If you have not subscribed yet, but are considering, it's not too late. She has options still available. Now would be the time to dive in, because I feel like, and I, I could be biased, but you get in for summer and it's great. Cause I mean, we just don't have a lot of summer home decor. So getting those pieces in is great. And then fall and winter, man, those are always such good seasons. And you'll be set ready to go to customize for those seasons. Every box comes with at least four or more decor items. It always has an art card inside. Oh, I was wondering, look, okay. She sent me two things, so she sent it in a big box. Because she always has to ship to me early, I always get whatever box she can find, which is completely normal. These ladies have to work so fast to get me things. So this is my very first official black, white Homewoods box. And this is what the website looks like. It is gorgeous. And then I am gonna be fully spoiling their brand new candle subscription. And if you've been around here, you know that White Home Woods makes their own candles. They have started their own monthly candle subscription and it's not just a candle subscription, it supports mental health, which is really cool. We're gonna dive into this in just a little bit. So let me set it over here. I did talk to the owner and curator, Melissa, and she said that this box starts shipping on May 5th. And yes, you can customize and choose from seven box styles. All of the contents will be on their blog like normal so you can go through everything, see all the decorating inspo and all of that awesome stuff. Ah, I love this black box. It's so chic. Okay, you have to see this. Just, just the pristine beauty. You open the black box, you have the white tissue paper, you have the wax seal here. And then, okay, hopefully something doesn't fall out of this. Oh, not bad, not bad. Okay, this is what we see on top. 
So you'll pull this out here and you scan this QR code to go over to the blog and learn more about the box, see styling tips, learn everything about the products inside, all of that fun stuff. I love QR codes because you can scan it and then once it's open, you can save it and bookmark it to your phone and you have it there forever. And then, ooh, usually the art card is a hint. And so if you haven't seen anything, this I have to say is a pretty good hint. And then I love how this side is completely different. So I know sunflowers are a, I hate to say love hate, that feels too passionate, but I do feel like sunflowers are either something you love or you don't love. There's not really people who are like, I'm okay with sunflowers. Maybe y'all comment below and tell me. I generally don't go for the sunflower. Like for me, hands down, this is my home to a T. Um, so I think I would vote no sunflower for me, but I would love to know what you guys think. Sunflowers or no sunflowers? Okay, let me slide this down here. And it, sunflowers are big this season. I don't know if you guys have noticed that. Even if you're like in Hobby Lobby or whatever, they have sunflowers there. Um, Pottery Barn has sunflowers in there. I was in West Elm, I didn't see any sunflowers there. But a lot of our subscription boxes have sunflowers in them this season. So if you like sunflowers, this is your season. What do we, oh, we have two tea towels, is that what I'm seeing here? Yes. I'm wondering if, and this could be a stretch for my little family, I could hang these up and them not get used. Like just have them hang for the sake of just being pretty. Because we have so many subscription boxes in this family, we get a lot of cloths and we use them all in a practical manner. But I think these hanging in the kitchen like this would be super, super chic. I probably would take an iron and iron out those tassels so that they fall down. I don't know. I think I'm gonna try it. If not, who has do not touch towels in their bathroom? I remember growing up and like different family members did, but our house growing up was so teeny tiny. We shared one shower, we had two potties. It was just so small that there was no space for like decorative anything anywhere. But I remember people having them in their bathroom and now of course, what am I wanting to do? As we're adding on this half bath to the house right now, I want towels that are for looky looky only. And this would match my theme. These are 18 by 28, 100% cotton, machine wash cold, tumble dry low. Yes, please, and it does say you can iron them. <laughs> That's great. So here's this guy here. Just out of curiosity, are y'all tired of getting towels in boxes? The reason I ask this is, depending on how you subscribe, you could be getting a super influx of dishcloths or you could be getting none at all. And I was just kind of curious, where do pink envelope watchers fall in that lineup? Too many dishcloths? Are you at just perfect or not enough? Comment below, that's something I would love to know. In our family, we obviously get a lot of them, but I'm a firm believer that they should not last forever, so you need to throw out the gross ones, so I think we're on pace for like the perfect amount of dishcloths. Oh my gosh, this is cute! I'm remembering now which box I got. Very, very cute. And this is one of those things where, here, let me pull the stickers off the back so you can see the back. Okay, I'm about to pull the stickers off later because I just don't have that kind of time. But the back is blank. So once you pull the stickers off, you can hit it with a little goo gone and get it all clean. You could technically paint stencil, graphic, something, Cricut, something on the back. I love that the front is super neutral. I love lemons. So where I'm not a sunflower girl, I love lemons. I love this indirect take on a lemon because I have a lot of actual real lemons. This to me is perfect, perfect, perfect for decorating shelf or tiered tray. A little too small to go onto a mantle that's too vast of a space, but anything that's shelved or tiered tray or regular tray, this will be perfect with. And if you put this with actual real or faux lemons, it's gonna tell a beautiful storyline and I'm liking that. Actually, this draped on a tiered tray because it's so neutral would accent and add life to it without distracting with this guy on top with the yellow lemons. Am I doing something wrong? Why can't I get this open? Is it tied and I just don't realize it? 
Okay, come on. Oh, there we go, there we go. Okay, it was totally just me being, I don't know what I was being. Oh, cute! Measuring spoons, let me pull these out. I'm into gold, everything in my kitchen. Like, everything is gold in my kitchen. I got a gold knife set, gold stainless steel measuring spoons. I have measuring cups. I have like all of like the spatula and everything. Everything is gold. It's just this exact gold. It's a set of four measuring spoons. It says hand wash only, which, do I put measuring spoons in the dishwasher? No, I've never really done that. It seems like too big of, I mean, you can just like usually rinse them off and they're done, right? Like, that's funny, I've never thought about that. No, I don't put them in there now that I'm processing that. So I'm sensing a little bit of a kitchen theme, which is helping me remember what my selections were with these right here. So let me pull these together right here. This is looking very cute. And once again, one of the things that White Home Woods boasts, and you can see it in their website, you can see it in their boxes, neutral home decor that tells a story for the season, but doesn't lock you into one color. Like if she would have sent yellow lemons, we would have been stuck with a yellow lemon theme. And I like that. And then she did a great job with this. So you could, this is what my vibe will be right here with these. But if this isn't your vibe, you're like, bring on the pop of color. Here's this. Oh, that's actually pretty darn cute. I don't know, maybe White Home Woods will get me to display my very first sunflower in my house. Okay, I'm gonna pull this guy because it looks fragile and then I'll pull the two other boxes in here. I know what this is. So if you've been around here at all, you know I love greenery. In plants, in florals, in grasses, I love them all. I feel like a space becomes goes from a house to being a home once you start putting touches like these in. So I am very, very excited. Also, my I have two favorite flowers, ranunculus and peonies, and this is a ranunculus, which just speaks to my little heart. Look at this guy. I love him so very much. So, once again, kind of like we were talking about with the dishcloths, depending on which boxes you subscribe to. This could be your third or fourth ranunculus plant, not exactly like this, just kind of like this, for you to have received in the last year or so. So, if you are like me and you have three or four of these, you are about to have the most beautiful theme set throughout your home. Cause right, you don't want the same one over and over and over. Cause then it looks like you went to the store and bought four of the same thing and didn't know, didn't like have any other creative thought in your head <laughs> as to what else to get. But with four that coordinate, but don't match throughout your home, or even maybe you nestle three of them in a corner together. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I'm trying to remember what colors I have. I think I have a yellow. I really, really do hope I have a yellow because a yellow with this theme would work. And I think I have a pink is where my other two are. I'm gonna go look in a second. But if you guys have other ranunculus, this is gonna be rocking for you. And I'm looking at the quality on it now. It's great. <laughs> it's really, really good. The leaves have that like soft touch, um, like lamb's ear type leaf, like it's really soft. It really genuinely looks like lamb's ear. And then the flower petal itself, I mean like get all the way in and look, it's great. Some of them are all the way open, some of them are partially open. Thumbs up, thumbs up, there it is. Thumbs up on this one. And then we have, look, this guy and this guy. I'm gonna slide that over and we'll go for this back box first. I think I know what this is. And this is probably the item that helped me decide which box to pick. And I was stuck between two. Not a little bit stuck, like all the way, 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 way stuck. And then just basically was like, they're both a win, right? There's nothing that's gonna go bad on either one of these. And just selected. But I don't remember if I selected gray or white. Oh my gosh, the top of it's fabulous. I can just see a little bitty glimpse of the top. I'm gonna tear it. I don't wanna grab it by the top just in case you're not supposed to. Sometimes you hear like, don't grab it from the top. I went with gray, obviously, <laughs> which is Jonathan's favorite color. 
Isn't that fabulous? I'm guessing it's a ceramic of some sort, but this super shiny gold top is everything. I am like marveling at the fact these are very summer things and have the coordination and capability of totally rolling with the yellow theme, but everything is still very true to White Home Woods and neutral. I love it. And these two together are very, very complimentary and that they're like that very earthy tones. Well, I guess this guy too, technically. And then I don't remember what's in here. Oh, I do remember what's in here. Believe it or not, with all of the home decor boxes I have and have received, I do not have a very stereotypical canister set. And I didn't even realize that I didn't have it till I went to select this box. And I was like, how funny that I don't have this because this would look remarkable in my kitchen. So the lid does have the seal on the edge and it's a wood lid. <coughs> And then the base is ceramic, but it is textured. And this is what it looks like here. So there's this guy, and then there's a smaller one that goes with him. Same pattern, they match exactly. You can set them up side by side or opposite. These could go in your kitchen, they could go on a bar cart, they could go on a tea area, a coffee area. Very versatile, or go in your bathroom. They absolutely could go in your bathroom. So before getting on here, I forgot to run inventory counts with the owner, Melissa. Something I like to do is find out which boxes are available and how many of them are so you know if you need to rush or not. I'm gonna go ahead and say, since this is already gone into pre-release and I am now sharing it with the public and it starts shipping early May, if you see something that you like, I would recommend moving quick, grabbing that coupon code, and go and subscribing. That's the best way to make sure it doesn't slip through your fingertips. So, Melissa created the gray Escape, and it has the big pillows in it. And y'all, this one was super hard for me. Those pillows look gorgeous. But I needed the canister set, but look at the flower in there. Isn't that flower gorgeous? And I have to say, I love, love, love color. So that pop in those peonies speaks to my heart. So how many of y'all ordered the Gray Escape or are going to order the Gray Escape? Next up was the Cream Sunshine. Same lineup, just more creams than grays. Very gorgeous. Love those poppies. Once again, the color in this guy is absolutely gorgeous. Then there was the white breeze for all of you neutral, neutral lovers who want to pop with color everywhere else. And she kind of set the pace with this one as well because this poppy in this one is almost reddish looking. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm at a stage of life where white is not allowed. We've got some littles in the house, pets in the house, littles inviting other littles over. Just, I'll have to wait. It'll come to me soon, it'll come. Next up is the Sweet Sunflower, and it has, looks like our same ranunculus and our dishcloths, but it has those two pillows, which once again, this one almost got me because that print also would go with other prints that I have in my entryway. So this was a big, big contender for me. And then there's the one we have, which is the gray pineapple that I've been showing you, super cute. Next is the White Colada. Can we just talk about how stinking cute these names are? The White Colada was another one that I just couldn't decide. Like I basically all three of these, I had three that I was like are great. And that's with this guy right here being in white. And so I went back and forth, ended up going with the gray. I think it's a win-win either way. And then last but not least is Guest Paradise which this one almost got me, except for I had to have the pineapple. That was a non-negotiable for me. I love the pineapple, but it had those pillowcases and the canister set. So I don't know. I would love to know which one you went with. Did you go with Guest Paradise, White Colada? Did you do Gray Pineapple Like Me, Sweet Sunflower, White Breeze, Cream Sunshine, or Gray Escape? Okay, from here, I wanna gather up some things to show you how well White Home Woods Summer 23 plays with past 
white home woods boxes. Give me a sec to run around my house like a crazy person. One of these days I, I should like attach like a forehead camera so y'all could watch me like stripping down my house to bring everything in here. I'm sure it'd be very entertaining. Okay, this is just a few of the items I wanted to bring in. Literally once the desk got full, I just stopped bringing stuff in. I have items from our spring 23 box, our summer 22 box, our spring 22 box, and I think that's it. <laughs> there might be another, like I don't exactly remember where this white wood tray, which season that came in, but as you can see, it's very, very easy to build on a theme that is your theme, your colors. I like this because this is my theme, my colors, but I had a curator still curate everything for me. So I didn't have to run around and find all the items. I didn't have to run and test the items. I didn't have to see what was in stock and not in stock, literally. When Melissa was done designing the seven curations, she emails them over to us. We pick our customizations and curations, send it back, she packs it up and ships it over. It is so easy. And for somebody like me, where time is really my entity that I'm really running low on. If I could wiggle my nose, be which style, and have something appear, it would be more time. Not more money, more time. <laughs> I just feel like I'm constantly running low on it. So for me, subscription boxes are a huge blessing. As you can see why I was struggling if I wanted to do gray or white on this, white would flow beautifully with this, as does the gray. Ended up going with gray, because this gray, blue, white is so our theme for the house. And I thought it looked really cute over with these past kitchen items. So this is past kitchen, past kitchen, past kitchen. Um, this guy could go both ways. This guy could go both ways. So, I mean, really, a lot of this could be strictly dining room kitchen if you wanted it to. Or if you saw, you know, past decorate with me, like my spring one I just did, and even in my last White Home Woods unboxing, I had it not only in the kitchen and dining room, but I had it all through my living room and in my entryway, especially these two guys here. And there might have been another ball like this. Um, I felt like I remember seeing the cats having one of them under the couch. And I feel like, okay, I wanna show you, she has it where it's this neutral, but she has it set where if you like a pop of black, you can accent with a pop of black. Let me go grab three items real quick and slide them in just so you can see what it looks like with that like anchor color involved. Okay, for the sake of space, I only brought one of these, but she sent a set of two of these lanterns. Uh, this guy, which once again, really ties in these blues and greens that you're seeing throughout my design here. But we have these neutrals and this pop of black. These cute little birds, I think these came in this last box, so spring 23. I don't know if there's any inventory left. Grab that pink tin coupon code and go check out the shop. If there's anything left, it will be located there and you can pick up onesies and twosies of what may be available. But as you can see here, she does such a good job. And the birds came in different colors. So if you're like, nope, I don't do blacks, but I do golds. You can pick them up and just keep carrying these accents. You can decide if you want whites, grays, blacks, golds to be your anchor colors that you're building everything else around. And so White Home Woods has been a long time favorite around here. And she just launched her brand new candle subscription. And her candles are in extremely high demand because she makes them and they are remarkable. So let me slide all of this aside so we can open that box and take a peek. I am so excited about the brand new candle subscription by White Home Woods. So things to know, especially if you're new and you haven't had the privilege of burning her candles before. It is a monthly subscription at only $39 a month with free US shipping. You can use the pink tin for 10% off her online shop and the subscription. And the URL's down below to go over to her candle website. But you get one seven ounce soy luxury candle, plus a bonus item or two that'll fluctuate each month for you and an inspirational art card. The May candle inspiration is self-love, summer roses, and uplifting fragrances. 
And so this candle is birthed from something that is very, very personal to Melissa at White Home Woods. She is big on mental health and caring for your mental state. And with this candle subscription, you will get inspirational quotes. The candle themes and scents will be scented around that month's inspiration. So it all very much ties together. She'll start shipping these on May 15th and you'll have two scents to choose from. So you can go through and customize. Of course, we always get to customize with White Home Woods. They are natural soy, luxury fragrance oils, 100% cotton wicks that is lead and zinc free, made in small batches here in the US, gluten free, phyphalate free, non-toxic and cruelty free. You get about 40 hours of bird time with each seven ounce candle. And for every box purchased, White Home Woods will make a donation to an organization that advocates for mental health. This month, they are supporting NAMI, the National Alliance on Mental Illness in Williamsburg. And so that is the biggest tie-in of what she's doing here. Love is the great miracle cure. Loving ourselves works miracles in our lives. And then on the back of the card is the candle care and all the tips and tricks on getting the most from your candles. I have burned a lot of her candles and I mean, I've never really paid attention to this. I probably should, but I've never had any problems. Her candles burn clean. It is so impressive. This smells so good. I got the You Are Loved Lotus Blossom and Mandarin Candle. Ooh, <laughs> so excited to try this. I also am loving that it is a black candle jar. Like you can keep it out with the inspirational quote or you can turn it in and it's like super chic. It has this wood lid that has a seal on it. So when you blow it out and you cover it, the uh, smoke won't filter through the room, ruining the scent. You can close it off. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. You get the Lotus Blossom first and then it finishes with the Mandarin. It's very fresh, very much spring or summer. Like it's not so florally that you think spring, but it's not so crisp that you think summer. I think it's a great blend. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. That's what the candle looks like inside. And there is the bottom. I am so happy she is doing this. We've all been missing her candles and she's been working on this for us. So what do we have in here? We have this guy and this guy. So these are our gifts for this month. If you've been around here for my unboxings, I've talked about all the time how candles are very therapeutic. It is very much my therapy. I will get up some days when I know I'm having a hard day and immediately light a candle just to start setting the pace through the room. In your first box, and I forgot to mention this for the White Home Woods home decor box as well. In your very first box, you get this wood stand. And these wood stands will hold your art card. Whoopsie. There we go. When you get your art card, if you'll just slide it right in the edge, you don't have to slide it all the way down and just let go, it'll fall at an angle and fall back. With the art cards that go like this, they're a lot easier. They're actually kind of impossible to mess up when you put them in. But the taller art cards that come in the home decor box, if you don't put them in just right, this one might, might do it. If you put it in like this, like just straight down, oh no, this one's actually good. It's still leaning back. They have a tendency to flop forward. You don't even have to push it. You literally can just barely set it on the lip on the edge and it will just prop and lean back and be absolutely perfect. And I'm guessing this is our free gift item that is included. Fills are like the weight of it's like a candle snuffer. So that's my guess, but I honestly have no clue. Yeah, it is. Okay, perfect. It's not, oh. Oddly enough, I now have three or four candle snuffers, which by the way, they're amazing for decorating with, so you can never have too many. I don't own a black one though. I do not have a single wick trimmer. I have never received a wick trimmer. So what's nice about them is you can like drop it down into the base of the candle and trim it and then it catches all the black and yucky and you can pull it out and dump it. Instead of with scissors at an angle, you know, you're trying to go in there and cut it, then it falls to the side, so then you're trying to fish it out. Oh, crazy. 
And what's even funnier is I've never even thought to buy any. <laughs> now that I'm like processing this, but look how cute these are. They have her business name on them. Very chic and they're like the perfect weight. Oh, same thing with this. Look, look, look. That is so gorgeous. And they're, they're not so weighted that they're heavy, but they're weighted enough that they have a great, like, rich feel to them. I love it. I love it. I love it. What is this? When I moved the bag, this guy popped out. Oh. I don't know what you do with this. What does this guy do? Look at the back. Okay, hold on. Is it, is it for taking something out of the candle? Oh my gosh. Now I feel silly. What does this do? I've always seen these two items together, so those make sense to me. Like, but what is him? I don't know. I don't even know how to Google to like look it up. So I'm just going to rely on you guys to tell me. Is it so that like you can pull something out of the candle? So if you've been thinking about getting a candle subscription, but just haven't been able to pull the trigger, like you just keep stalling or delaying for different reasons, whatever they may be, maybe the fact of knowing that if you subscribe monthly to this candle, you're not only going to be supporting a woman owned small business here in the U S who makes her own candles. You'll also be supporting someone in their mental health journey, which is pretty, pretty awesome. Okay. What do you say? Should we just go decorate? Maybe just a little bit. Oh my gosh, you guys, that was so good. So good. We're kicking off summer so great. So we have a great, very summer themed, neutral colored option. Where are we gonna go from here? First box out the gate, and we've got the world before us of Third and Main's coming out next. I've been talking with Jess Deco, really cool things on deck with them. Um, I have not opened a deck the table deck it box in a while because she keeps selling out and she doesn't want me to go <laughs> and tell a bunch of people about it when she's already selling out. But her boxes are really awesome. I can put a link below if you want to take a peek at that tablescape subscription box. We've got holidays coming up like crazy. All of our patriotic uh, decor stills have some really, really cool stuff going. I'm not sure when I'm allowed to say something, so I'll just leave it right there. They're creating a celebration line for pop-ups for celebrations throughout the year, and it's awesome. So make sure you subscribe. When you subscribe, you're first in the know, first to get giveaways, first to get exclusive coupon codes, and on these boxes that sell out, you're the first to be able to slide in and grab them. I hope that you've had an absolutely amazing April, and if you subscribe to my channel, I'm gonna see you guys later. Bye, y'all.